What's the difference between the Rhinox manual quick hitch and the new auto lock quick hitch? Continue watching while I run over some of the key differences. The quick hitch is one of the best ways to speed up your bucket and attachment changes, but there are quite a few different styles available on the market these days. The manual quick hitch and the auto lock quick hitch look very similar, but they perform very differently. Both quick hitches fit to your machine in exactly the same way, by putting the pins through your dipper arm and the bucket link, basically like direct mounting a bucket to your machine, but the quick hitch instead. If there is any slack, you can use the one, two and three mil shims provided to take any slack up so it has a snug fit. Both quick hitches come with the same bar and holder to operate. So what are some of the differences? Well, the auto lock quick hitch comes with a Lola tested lifting arm, which means you can safely lift things around site. For example, ducting or drainage pipes into trenches or other things obviously within the machine's capabilities. Whereas the lifting eye on the manual quick hitch doesn't come Lola tested. So you would need to get this tested before you can lift anything safely. The other key difference is the locking element. The manual quick hitch has a removable safety pin that can wear over time and potentially snap or come loose during use. Whereas the auto lock quick hitch has an internal locking mechanism which has been designed to minimise wear over time. So what are the differences in how to attach or remove your buckets and attachments with each of these quick hitches? To change a bucket or attachment with the standard manual quick hitch, you will need to get out of your cab twice. Firstly, you will need to get out of your cab and remove the safety pin from the hitch. Then insert your lever bar into the latch of the hitch and depress down to remove the back pin from the latch. Then you'll need to get back into your cab to release the attachment off the front hook of your quick hitch. Then you can pick up your next attachment in the front hook of the quick hitch. You'll need to get out of your cab for the second time, insert the lever bar and depress down to let the back pin of your attachment into the latch of the quick hitch. Then reinsert the safety pin and then you can get back into your cab and use the attachment. However, with the auto lock quick hitch, you'll only need to get out of your cab once to complete the same operation. Firstly, you'll need to get out of your cab and insert the lever bar into the latch of the quick hitch, moving it to the right before you depress down fully until you hear a click. This will keep the latch in the open position so your attachment can swing free of the latch. Then you'll need to get back into your cab and unhook the attachment from the front hook. Using the front hook of your quick hitch, pick up your next attachment, then crowd the attachment towards the excavator. The back pin of your attachment will trigger the pressure sensitive finger within the latch mechanism, causing the latch to snap shut and the locking mechanism to engage, securing your attachment onto the quick hitch so that it's ready for use. Always make sure you do a bump test with your bucket or attachment to make sure it's fully engaged with the quick hitch before use. If you'd like to know more about the Rhinox Auto Lock Quick Hitch, click on this video here. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on another video. Pick up your next attachment. Will trigger the pressure sensitive finger. I shouldn't be rumbling after lunch.